We're stuck down here. Whoa! Walls are steep. I can't even climb them. Yeah, as Blur found out, cheetah powers won't help us down here. And where can we run? Deactivate. OK, OK, maybe we should call the Tortuga now. I mean, we've got Spot Swat, and we found Blur ourselves, right? Yeah, and if we call the Tortuga, they could get us out of this easy. Hmm. Yeah, we could do that. But I think we got to get out of this ourselves, don't you? We do. So let's see if we can figure a way out ourselves. Do you see a gecko? Then I could activate gecko powers and climb out of here easy. No geckos. But look at this. There's a hole here. Hmm. And an aardvark. Hey, and I think that's Slurpee's mom. Um, it is. And Slurpee. Slurpee. Aardvarks are the most powerful diggers on the African savanna. Don't you mean under? <laughs> yeah, under. The most powerful digger under the African savanna. And I have right here an aardvark power disc. Uh, I just can't reach. Uh, too hard. Uh, these walls are termite mound construction. Yeah, the biggest part of a termite mound is actually underground. And only aardvark powers could dig through. Hi, guys. We've got all our supplies and we're heading back. You having a good time? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're having a great time. Oh, yeah, the savannah's the place to be. Well, that doesn't look like the savannah to me. You're sure you're not in trouble? Us? In trouble? No, no way. way! Uh, okay. We'll see you soon. Uh-oh, the gang is on their way back. If we're gonna get out of this ourselves, we better get out now. Otherwise, they're gonna have to rescue us. Huh? Termites! Bro, termites in your pockets? They must be from when I was bitten earlier. And that's a good thing. Aardvarks eat a lot, right? Oh, yeah. Hey, check this out. I've got some nice, tasty termites for ya. So, Slurpee's mom, you hungry? Yes! Activate Aardvark Powers! Can you dig it? Oh, yeah! Whew, hey, thanks for your Aardvark help. <laughs> you Aardvarks are shy and solitary creatures, but... Can you dig or what? Come on, everybody, follow me! Almost through! <laughs> and here we are, on the savanna again. <laughs> Look how happy Blur and Spot Swat are. Now this is the way it's supposed to be. Mother Cheetah and Cheetah Cub together on the savanna. Living free and in the wild. And just in time too, look. Hey bros. I can't believe you didn't call us. Oh yeah. We just had a good, relaxing time hanging out with the cheetahs. And no requests for new creature power suit programming? Now that you mention it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Warthogs have a real wide, bony face. I mean, it is solid, trust me. This face is like a shield. Got it. With tusks. Don't forget the tusks. The tusks are really important. Got that too. Razor sharp tusks. Yeah, and with that face, the Warthog can fight off predators. It's awesome how they battle each other. Those Warthogs are tough. <laughs> yeah, that's pig power. 
Programming complete. Hey, Chris, you activate first. Uh, cool. Activate Warthog powers. <laughs> now that's pig power. Martin, now it's your turn. Uh, not quite yet. Because I think I'll activate cheetah powers. Chris! Spots what hunted you first, but now it's my turn to hunt you with cheetah powers. You're on. I'm right behind you again. Woohoo! Yeah! Ha ha! Tusk attack! Oh, you missed me! Ow! Ha ha! Gotcha! <laughs> uh, we're all buddies here, right? Oh! <laughs> Warthogs don't climb. Well, it's good to know my warthog buddies have my back. <laughs> <laughs> Space sounds pretty cool. Buckle up, everybody! Uh-oh. <laughs> 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 Oh, we're in outer space. Oh, wow. Oh, oh. <laughs> Engaging artificial gravity. No! Oh! Oh! Ow. Wow. The Earth looks so beautiful from up here. And down there, so many kids are getting ready for the holidays. People all around the world with their own holiday traditions. Yeah, including three villains with a tradition of stealing animals. Hey, if they're down there, why'd you tell me to fly us up to space? Here's why. The villains have split up onto three different continents capturing animals. And I've been tracking their movements. Gourmand is still in Madagascar. Zack is moving in North America. Danita has flown to South America. But the distances are so great, it'll take too long to track them down one after another in the Tortuga. Especially if we want to have a chance of having our Christmas party and opening presents before Christmas. Yeah, time is too tight. But if we're up here, the Earth will spin below us. And we can send the rescue parties out after each villain in their different location. I'll go after Gourmand in Madagascar. Africa's coming up on us now. Quick, to the garage! Whoa! New, New space pods? When, when did, did you invent, invent these? these? Oh, Cookie and I have been working on them for a while. For whenever we had to split up to the corners of the Earth in a hurry. That's right! Africa's right below us! Hurry! Martin, pick a vehicle and get in the space pod. Yes! Hmm, which one? Which one? <gasps> the Cretera VX! <gasps> Ready, Martin? Ready. Space pod away! Aviva, pick your vehicles. The Earth spins at 27 kilometers per minute. We'll be over North and South America soon.
to rescue some creatures. And so, Martin was on his way, looking to stop Gourmand from taking any more of his Madagascan animal friends. Meanwhile, on the edge of the Earth's atmosphere, Aviva and Chris had chosen their vehicles and the Americas had come into view. Space pods away! All right, they're on their way. Jimmy, let's spin around to Africa and see how Martin's doing. Like taking candy from a baby. <laughs> huh? Hold it, Gourmand. Well, well, well. Howdy, Blueberry. Well, blue is my favorite color, but the name's Martin. And you're not going anywhere with me, Spotswat, Hipster, Nubs, Thornsley, Slurpee, or anybody. Is that so? <laughs> Gotta rescue animal friends. How about a tree? Huh? Whoa! Okay, Jimmy. Let's see if this synthetic keratin mixture works. Open it up, ye. Okay. Let this cool for a second and... Now do ye! Flexible! And super strong! Yes! We've got it! We've replicated the pangolin scale formula! That's the last bit of programming I needed for the pangolin suit. It's Chris and Martin! Tortuga, we've got a problem. It's Artichoke's mom. She's gone. <gasps> we came back and found Artichoke, but no mom. And this, we've got to save her and take care of Artichoke while we do. Well, I've got something right here that might help. A Pangolin Power Disc, ready for action. Got it. Oh! Oh! Uh, and zap it! <laughs> Oh, got it! Aw, oh, brother. Ha! I get to test it out. Activate Pangolin Power! Awesome! I feel so powerful. Nothing can hurt me with these awesome scales. Good thing you got to test it out. <laughs> A naked pangolin. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. I may have to adjust the scale fasteners. Uh-oh. What? A clouded leopard. Artichoke, look out! <gasps> Scales, don't fail me now! Nice one, Chris! Just what a mother pangolin would do to protect her baby whose scales aren't full strength yet. Let's hope mine are... Ow! Ow! Hey, wait! It doesn't even hurt! <laughs> the scales are working! They're super tough! Oh, yes! What a defense! Aviva, you did it! Whew. I was worried there for a minute. <laughs> Sorry, pal. You're never gonna get through. We can do this all day if you want. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whew. <gasps> whoa, whoa! Uh-oh. Chris! Whoa! Dizzy! Hang on, I'll get you down. Wait, leave me up here. Uh, brother, I know you like to be up in trees with creatures, but we got work to do. No, listen. 
The only way to find Artichoke's mom and figure out who's doing this is to get into the heart of the operation. Aha! So if you stay in the trap, you'll get collected and taken right to where Artichoke's mom is. Then I come to the rescue. <laughs> as usual. Exactly! No, not as usual. But yeah, that's the plan. But Artichoke doesn't need to come on this mission. Come on, Artichoke. I'll catch you. Gotcha. <gasps> Hi. <gasps> <gasps> Gourmand. I smell a creature in my trap. <laughs> Ooh, interesting. What do we have here? A new green species? Let me have a look at you, huh? Is it... Oh, come on! Open up, Scaly! Ooh, you can't just pry open a pangolin, no matter how hard you try. Nah! Oh, oh, forget it. I'll get you open back in the kitchen. The kitchen? Okay, Artichoke, let's get ready to follow that endangered species chef. Quick! To the city I sails with a boat full of pangolin scales. There'll be the special health booster for my smooth and juicy juicer. Yo-ho-ho! <laughs> Surely people will believe that the scales from a creature this strange possess special health benefits. So I'll just grind up the scales as a health powder for the greatest smoothie recipe ever! Are you kidding me? Pangolin smoothie for health? No. Martin, come in. Chris here. Did you get the coordinates I sent? Got them, Chris. We're on our way. T-Rex? He got you too? Whoa, he's got pangolins from all over the world. Martin, hurry. The way Gourmand is collecting the pangolins, they'll be gone before we ever get a chance to tell people about them. That's not gonna happen. Trust me, I'll be bombing in real soon. Hey, I'm looking for a certain Chinese pangolin. She's the mom of a friend of ours. Can you help me find her? You? Green grape. I should have known. Oh. Who did you say you were looking for? Uh, this one, maybe? <gasps> Gourmand, let her go! Now, now, I can't do that, because then I wouldn't be able to use her in my very first pangolin smoothie, and you can watch me prepare it. <laughs> okay, what do we know about El Pratorum? Well, we know our namesake is a bark mantid and lives on smooth bark trees. Like this one. Wow, that's a lot of bark to cover. And Lynergusa cretorum is only this big, just over three centimeters long, and camouflaged to blend into that bark. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Oh yeah, I think I'm thinking what you're thinking. I think we're thinking the same thing. I think so too. I have no idea what you two are thinking. Think you could fill me in? We won't find these mantids unless we're small. We've got to get on their level to find them. We've got to get mini size. And miniaturize. Rose, wait! You just left the miniaturizer out again. Oops! <laughs> and how many times has that backfired on us? Too many. <laughs> that should do it. Watch out! Wow! Maybe being mini and riding bus bikes isn't such a good idea. Yeah, we're like little bugs. Whoa, being mini is a pretty crazy thing to do if you're looking for a bug hunter. Yeah, tell me about it. Uh, uh oh. Our praying mantis hunts bugs. <gasps> We've been found by the mantis we're looking for. Hello, Litter Goose and Kratorum. It's us, the Krat Brothers. I'm Martin. 
I'm Chris, and I've heard about some praying mantises eating their mates, but not about eating the guys you're named after. Hmm, let's see what the scan shows. I wouldn't count on it. You're in the arms of a hungry predator. Nice triangular head you got there. And your eyes are big and round. Yeah, and this mantis is really long and skinny. Greenish body with brown stripes. This mantis species is a runner. Whoa! Not a sit and wait hunter. Our mantis runs down his food. Kinda like the cheetah of the mantis world. I've never had such a good view of praying mantis mouth parts. The jaw-like structures are impressive. Uh, Chris, remember, you're the prey. Those mouth parts are designed to eat you. Ah! Hurry, Aviva! Quick! Programming complete. Coming at ya! Activate Litter Goose and Raptorum powers! <laughs> Wow! Litter Goosecratorum powers are awesome! Awesome vision! I feel like hugging a tree and running up the trunk! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> a big old win for moi! Only because your hunk of junk crashed! more of this can I endure? Hey! Huh? What do you think you're doing? Margaret! Chris! Gross? Well, firstly, let us make sure you don't alert the Krat Brothers to our presence here. <gasps> Consider all your communications. Kapuchu! <laughs> Those wild rats! That's, That's wild, wild crap. crap! Oh, whatever! They'll be wherever their new bug buddies are. Oh, the wild crats are that way! Aw, he's like the hound dog I never had! <laughs> Woohoo! Ha! Ah, yeah! Wow, Litter Goose Kratorum is fast! Truly the cheetahs of the mantis world! Yeah! And they can stop on a dime. Uh-huh. Wow, check it out. Litter Goose Kratorum has great camouflage too. He blends into the bark and disappears. Now I understand why we never saw them before. But they don't just hide and wait for prey to come to them. They chase it down! Whoa! How's it going, bro? Great! Uh oh. Ah! This mini adventure has too much big excitement for me. I'm gonna get back to the miniaturizer to get real size. Watch out for the bird, bros! Huh? Ah! Whoa! A tree tarantula! Cool! A turnip tail gecko! Whoa! Ah! Whoa! The life of Linnergoose Kratorum is fast and furious! <laughs> <laughs>